Good morning, Royal folks. It's great to see you all here again back on our Epic Royal channel. And before we begin and move on to any further details on today's video, let me just start off by saying a huge thank you guys to all of you out there who are always watching these daily news doses. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It is free to do and it would really mean a lot. And also that notification is bell because we don't want you to miss out on any of the raw news and analysis coming up. So let's get started today. Now, Meghan Markle wasn't at King Charles's coronation, as you probably all know, but she was the topic of conversation for two royals. The Duchess of Sussex, who was invited to attend on Saturday, decided to remain at home in California to celebrate Prince Archie's fourth birthday. Now, despite being the grandchildren of the new king, it's believed that Archie Four and sister Princess Lilibet One were not invited, with sources citing that the kids are very young. Meghan's whereabouts seem to be the subject of an intriguing chat between Prince Harry and Princess Eugene's husband, which has thrown up more questions than answers. Now, a lip reader, well, picked up on the moment where the Duke of Sussex is believed to have spoken about his wife to Jack Brooksbank as they waited for Charles to arrive. Speaking to the Daily Star, the expert suggested that Harry replied to an unknown question from Jack, which was referring to Meghan, saying, no, she's at, while tilting his head. Jack allegedly then asked, and is she? Nodding to confirm, Harry added, it's not ideal. Now, if it makes you feel any better, even I can do it. Jack is believed to have told Harry, it's not quite the life, is it? Now, Harry then appeared to shake his head as Jack then replied, I haven't had the time for that, not if it's over. Then Harry seemed to make a very cryptic remark stating, it's an eventuality. Parts of the conversation were hard to decipher due to various guests walking in front of the pair. Jack appeared to show sympathy towards his cousin-in-law, who also spoke about a mysterious meeting. The lip reader picked up on the moment where Jack asked Harry the meeting. It's not known what Harry was specifically referring to and whether the alleged gathering did or did not take place at all. Harry then told him, it's sad. I'm fed up. I've tried talking to him. While no one knows for sure, it would seem likely that Harry was talking about King Charles or Prince William due to the soured relationship. Now, Jack and Eugene are some of the only roles who have continued to meet up with Harry and Meghan. So what do you guys think about today's news? Do you think that Harry is fed up between the intense battle of Meghan, King Charles and Prince William? Please share your thoughts in the comments, guys. And until next time, we can't wait to bring you some more royal daily news. So stay tuned and see you again. Bye for now.